welcome to my channel my name's Angela and this is Devon Thread Tales thank you so much for joining me today today I thought I would share with you the things I plan to sew or make in September so I didn't do an August plans video because July kind of ran away away with me and I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed with lots of bits and pieces that were going on and I just couldn't keep up with what I'd already planned just in July alone so I kind of got myself a bit caught up did so a couple of other things which I will share with you in a video next week so this is my first plans video for a couple of months so sorry about that <laughs> so today I'm going to go through all of the things that I want to make but I will just say that I have found planning this month really really difficult because we are on the cusp of going into autumn and the weather's still quite nice here in fact I'm recording this in my summer house today because I thought it'd be quite nice to do that and I've just struggled with thinking about should I make the effort to make things which are still quite summery or should I start making things which I won't necessarily wear right now but that I will wear certainly in the coming months going autumn going into winter so it has been a little bit of a a little bit of a difficult kind of thing to decide upon so I, I got myself one of my trusty whiteboards and I wrote down a few bits and pieces and I also looked to my make nine plans as well to see if that would give me inspiration so the first thing that I've decided I'm going to make is oh I'm going to start because I won't be able to make this in a month is I'm going to try and make the jumper that I wanted to knit which was on my make nine now this was inspired by my daughter Amy who if you've watched any of my videos previously sometimes she comes on my videos not quite so much anymore she's gone a bit camera shy but she made this jumper last year and I absolutely love it it's just a free pattern from Ravelry and I'll put the link to it in the description below of this um, pattern I think it's called yeah I think it's just the yoke sweater and I really love this I'm not particularly keen on the idea of the body being um, yellow or mustard but she had lots of this yarn left over and um, and all of the yarn from these colours here so I just added to the grey colourway that's in here and I'm going to knit it in the main body being grey and then amalgamate all of these different colours in this pattern across here so it's just got a rib at the bottom rib on the cuffs and it's just a normal jumper shape you know, there's nothing sort of fancy or, or anything about it I absolutely love it and she completely and utterly inspired me to want to have a go at doing this so I actually cast on my stitches about a week ago I haven't done anything ever since I've done that and um I'm actually going to be using circular needles which I have never ever used before so it's going to be a real learning curve for me and I know it's going to take me a little while to make it so I thought if I get on with it now I might have it made in time to wear it for Christmas so that's my first plan of something I'm going to start in September in some of my previous videos I've said that I'm going to start trying to make sure I work through my work in progress projects and that I'll also try and sew some of my Guthrie Garney Sewing Society kits that I've purchased over the last 12 months or so and one of my work in progresses is a shirt that I was sewing for John. Now it's one of my favourite shirt patterns to sew for him and he really likes it. It is the McCall's M6044 so I'm just looking over here because the pattern number is over here and I started sewing it up in this really lovely just shirting um, cotton that I got from Fabwax Mill it was incredibly inexpensive if I can still find it on their website then I will put it up um, and put it in the description below um, but I started sewing this quite some time ago and I was actually sewing it and recording it as a sew along and I think I just got a little bit bored <laughs> of filming it and I'd never done a sew along before so it was a long long time ago never ever put it up and I saw this in the cupboard the other day and I just thought oh do you know what I need to get on and finish that and if you would like to see this as a sew along do comment in the comments below and I will try and film the rest of it and actually record it but I've got quite a long way with it it's got a really nice yoke on the back sort of with like a bit of a a diamondy shape at the back and um, it's got patch pockets on it so really all I've got left to do is sort of um, do the side seams attach all of the collar and hem it all oh and put the button plackets and buttons and buttonholes on so I do think that that'll be a really nice shirt to finish and because it's already part way made it hopefully won't take too long so like I say if you'd like to see that as a sew along then do please put it in the comments below and I will complete that and finish it if you're not too well what bothered about it 
I'll just sew it up and not record it. <laughs> On the subject of sew-alongs, in July I said I was going to be making the New Look 6446 jumpsuit as a sew-along. I've made it previously with Karen from So Little Time as a collaboration and I'll put, put a link in here just in case you fancy watching that video. I made it in a viscose fabric, um, I think I got it from So Haley Jane and it was just a really lovely jumpsuit. I absolutely love it and I knew straight away that I wanted to make another one so I decided I was going to do that as my sew-along but like I say, in July July, things just got really busy it was the summer holidays and I just couldn't get it finished it is partly done and I am going to complete that so that that doesn't become a work in progress in my work in progress box and just add to the pile of things to be done so I'm going to get that done and finished I'm making it in this really lovely sorry very unironed um, viscose fabric that I got from make 140 it is absolutely lovely and I really love this color I feel like I'm trying to be much bolder and more adventurous with the color colours and things, not necessarily pattern all the time, but some of the colours and things that I wear and I just saw this and fell in love with it and I thought, why the heck not, I'm just going to go for it. So I will get that finished and hopefully that will be up for you before the end of September. So while I was trying to think about which work in progress I was going to finish, I had a really good look through all the work in progresses that I have and I don't have a huge amount left now, I think I've got about seven or eight, which I suppose is actually quite a few. But I don't think that I'm going to end up sewing any more this year from that pile. I'm going to try my very hardest not to add anything to it. But everything that's in it is really, really summery. And I just think if I try and sew that now, I won't have the enthusiasm to sew it because it's too summery and it won't get worn. So it is something that I'll try and make sure that I pick up again in spring next year because I think that just makes a lot more sense. But the other thing that I said I was going to do is to make my way through some of the Guthrie Garney sets that I've bought. Now Guthrie Garney have an email that you can subscribe to and it's their Sewing Society Club. Um, I'm not sure if it's called a club or quite what the wording is, but you get an email and you get the first dibs on being able to buy one of their kits. Their kits go onto their website that you can buy, but you can have just the first exclusive look at it and they email you the first Wednesday of each month. It doesn't cost anything to be in that email subscription and also you are not obliged to buy anything at all. There have been quite a few months where I haven't bought anything because either I've already got the pattern or I just didn't like the garment particularly that was being um, sold in the kit etc. And the kits are really good. I won't do like a big unboxing but one of the kits that I got was the Nova jumpsuit which is by Grainline Studio I think and if that's not right I'll put it up on the screen. Now I got this kit not because I liked it myself, I really wasn't all that keen on the Nova jumpsuit. I kind of, well I say I wasn't keen, I kind of imd and ammed about it and just wasn't really sure. I've seen a few versions of it which I really like. I know Liz from The Baker That Sews has made some absolutely gorgeous versions and the first time I saw it was on her and I thought oh, I really like that and then I kind of went off it a bit and then came back to it but my daughter who is going off to uni in a couple of weeks time she said oh I really like that that looks really nice now this is for Amy the one that knits and she has quite a unique and different little style to her and I wouldn't necessarily say that this is something for a teenager I'll put a picture up and I'll also put the line drawings up on the screen so you can see what they look like but she saw this and just said, oh, I'd really like that. And she really liked the colour that came in the kit from Guthrie Garney. So I decided to go for this. And I think this is going to be really, really nice for her to wear because it's not pyjamas, but I think it's going to feel very much like pyjamas. So just in case you've not seen a Guthrie Garney kit before, this is what it comes like. It comes in a cardboard box and the main fabric is always wrapped up in a pink tissue paper. When you make your order you normally get an email which gives you the PDF version of the pattern, it also gives you the um, PDF version of the instructions. There's also a link to an exclusive video that Lauren from Guthrie Garney actually presents and it's tips and tricks and hand holding through the making of whichever garment it is that you, are, um, you have subscribed to or you've bought. And if you want to 
if just say for instance you have all the fabric and the pattern etc already and you didn't want to buy the whole kit but you just wanted to get the hand holding experience with the video you can actually just buy that on Lauren's website for a very small price and then that's yours for life and you can just look at that every time that you need to and I think that's really good and I have been tempted on other version uh, other patterns as well so within the box you get um, the actual printed out copy of the PDF pattern as well as your version that you get on your computer so that's really really great so you can print that out again so you could just go in and um, cut this up if you wanted to instead of tracing it but you know whichever you prefer you then also get a little paper bag and this has got everything in it from the thread that you need to a whole pack of needles which I think is really really great I haven't opened this one so I just open it now and everything else that you need so for example in this one you do need elastic there is the reel of thread that you need and also the sewing machine needles and everyone comes with a little label that says um, made by me with G and G which is just a really nice touch and I quite like adding those things to my garments when I've made a Guthrie Garney sewing society kit because you just remember that that's where you got it from and I think it's just quite nice to have a little label so I'll show you the actual fabric that I'm going to use for Amy and I think this colour is just going to suit her beautifully. It also comes with um, interfacing if interfacing is needed. Basically other than your sewing machine and scissors, I think that would be it, I think in a Guthrie Garney kit you get absolutely everything you need. There is nothing that is you know left left for you to have to buy so it is really really good. They are sort of reasonably priced but I think for the quality of the fabric and all of the things that you get I actually think it's really good value so this is the fabric it's a really really beautifully soft viscose jersey it is I cannot explain to you how soft this is it's just absolutely lovely and I know that she's going to love wearing this it's just going to be super soft for her and it's also going to be something that she can layer up but it'll be really comfortable Hopefully she won't sleep in it as well as wear it during the day, but I don't know, she's going to be a student, so who knows. I know that I'm going to have to make probably one of the smallest sizes for her because obviously she's actually only a teenager and she's quite a small teenager at that. So I think there might even be quite a bit of this fabric left over that I could maybe make her a t-shirt or something. Not to wear at the same time, but I think she would like that because it is just so super soft and so lovely. I also bought some really nice um, labels recently, which I know obviously this comes with a label, but I've bought some really lovely labels that I bought from Makeup 140, which I don't have on me at the moment, but I'll put a picture of them up on the screen and it just says you are loved. I think that's what it says. And I just thought that was a really nice thing to put inside some of the girls' garments that I make. I just think it'll be really nice. And when they go to put it on, they'll be like that. Oh, I am loved. <laughs> So the last thing that I have that I'm going to plan to try and make during um, September is just a top and I bought this top. I wanted something that was really casual. I know that I've already got the Avid Seamstress, the blouse pattern, which I've um, made before. I've had to sort of um, customise it to fit my body shape, etc. Um, perfectly and it's a really loose fitting really lovely blouse but I just wanted something a little bit different and my daughter had bought a top recently that was sort of a v-neck and it had all these gathers around the shoulders and around the neckline and around the back and when I went in to make 140 in Plymouth recently they had the so liberated matcha top now I did actually show this on my one week me made August um, so I'm so, apologies if you've already seen this but it's what I'm planning to make in September I'm really actually when I first started sewing I really did stick to pattern companies that I really really knew and quite often I'll be watching other people's um, YouTube videos like Kath from Kath Craft, um, Sewn on the Tine, Sew Little Time, um, The Baker That Sews, um, Stitch Rip Repeat, Fuzzy Baby Seals, I just all those people that I watch they've all seem to make lots of different pattern companies and um, patterns and I thought I really need to branch out a little bit and have a go at making some other pattern companies so I'm really chuffed that I'm doing this and I've certainly with the Guthrie Garney kits as well I do tend to um, experience sewing other pattern companies patterns which is really good 
Um, and it would be really interesting actually to, if you wouldn't mind, putting in the comments below some of the pattern companies that you really love or ones that you'd like to try, etc. It's really nice because I can't always think sometimes if you want to go and search out oh I'd quite fancy this what shall I look for you might go to your your most favorite pattern companies that you use and can't quite remember which other pattern companies there are out there so it'd be really good to list some of those in the comments below not just so that I can be really cheeky and have a look at those but other viewers as well can have a little look at that and see what other pattern companies you guys use so I'm going to have a go at making this so liberated matcha top and it's just a really simple really lovely top it does come I don't know if you can be able to see this because it's quite small it comes with a short sleeve version and a sort of a three quarter length very loose fitting sleeve version as well and I bought this fabric which I thought was going to be absolutely perfect it is a viscose fabric I bought it from make as well viscose fabric super super soft and just really really lovely I think it's going to be perfect for that top really nice and drapey I think I fell in love with the version that's actually on the front of here which you might not be able to see clearly but it's sort of a, a whitish kind of background with a bit of a bluey pattern on it and I really like that and this was kind of the closest thing that I could find in there it's a bit of a heavier pattern I think but I still think it would be lovely and I think I'll wear that quite a bit I want to be able to wear some nice tops with jeans not just wear t-shirts so that's going to be the final thing that I make this month so like I say when I was going through I was finding it really difficult and I did have this whiteboard here <laughs> i was trying to write down sort of you know what am i going to make and, you know different things and some of the things that i really want to make and i thought i'd share them with you anyway obviously these aren't things i'm making in september but i have um a set of rio t-shirts that i'd like to make again i got that as a kit from guthrie garney i've recently bought the wilder gown that i'd like to make as a top the sagebush top i have got the stevie pattern the which is the tilly and the button stevie pattern and i don't know i don't even remember buying it i think i might have bought it for one of my daughters when they wanted to have a go at making something but i really fancy making that as a top I don't know that i'd wear it as a dress so i think that would be quite nice as a top and maybe in like an embroidery on glaze or something like that i really want to make some trousers for myself some dungarees some more dresses well as you can see i just want to make it all i I also want to make myself a jacket or blazer and actually that's quite high up on my list I'd really like to make a jacket or blazer and again if you've got any nice fitted sort of almost tailored type jacket patterns that you can think of I'd really really love some suggestions in the comments below um, also the Ilford jacket I really fancy making that and I really want to make some jeans I just want to make it all <laughs> quite honestly and I do sometimes get a bit like oh no I don't know which way to turn first and one of the things I um, have been doing recently is looking on Pinterest and just looking at outfits that I really like and going oh, okay let's have a look at the things that I want to make and compare that to the outfits that I really like and and maybe sort of have a little look at whether I can combine those and, and be a bit more sort of constructive about what I make and wear so I'm not just randomly making things that don't necessarily go with other things. So for example I've seen something recently, I saw a pair of trousers or a lady wearing a pair of trousers with a really nice top and a, and a blazer which is why I think I want to make the blazer and I thought oh actually I might try and recreate that so over the next month or so I'm going to have a little look for some fabric and things and see if I can recreate that look and if I can then I'm probably going to plan that for my October make so or October makes so I hope that you've enjoyed that I hope it hasn't been too rambly <laughs> I feel like I haven't properly recorded anything for absolutely ages next week I'm going to hopefully share with you all the things that I've made in July and August so keep your eyes out and ears open for that if you aren't subscribed and you would like to see those videos in the future do please make sure you press the subscribe button please press like and give me a hi and hello in the comments because I'd always like to have a bit of a chat with you guys but other than that I hope you all have a good week you take care bye mm -hmm.